Repentance and remission are two of the most classic roots probably in North America. All five-star climbing. They define classic. Climbed up past uh, what's normally uh, the first belay, which is a ledge on the left side. And I went up onto that ledge, and, and, and my hands are a little cold right there. I shook out a little and warmed up. And then right above that is kind of one of the cruxes of the route. It's a thin ice column that's uh, pretty narrow. You really only have room for a one foot in there really good. So you kind of get one foot in there good, and then just kind of balance with the other foot when you, when you move the tool. My attitude towards towards any kind of climbing is is much more, you know, take it as a gift and and do what feels right and and always honor those boundaries. And I think that that's an important uh, you know way to live to a ripe old age. I know that uh, people watching are going to think that maybe I'm not honoring those boundaries, but for me, I am. On the chalk zone, there's two ways. You can go left or right. That's what everybody wants to know. Did you go left or right? And the first time I did it, last, last weekend, I went right. And I got up there today and uh, went kind of checked that out. But everybody told me that it was a little easier left, that there was a hand jam out there. And uh, I think that hand jam is with gloves on. That was scary. That fish jam wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. The intention with climbing repentance was always to do it sort of as a warm up. So once I got up that and through the chalk stone, I was kind of a big relief because, you know, I kind of, once you get through one really scary, little section like that cockstone was, then I think when you're soloing, it's, for me, I, I've become much calmer. I decided last night around four o'clock that conditions were right. 
And then that night was, you know, it was a hard night. I didn't sleep super well. I had nightmares. You know, of course, you, your mind wanders and thinks of all the bad things that could happen. We get attached to having a future and uh, thinking that uh, you might not have a future past the next day is a really interesting uh, mental trip to go down. It really, um, really illuminates for me what I, what's important. It's steep, it's exposed up there. You would not want to fall off of that. That's uh, it's some, a big time air. but uh, you know, I felt really solid on my tools. I'm not so worried about what uh, my girlfriend is going to say when she sees the video. It's my mom that I'm worried about. <laughs> you know, I, I'm pretty upfront about, you know, who I am and what it is that I do with uh, with everyone that I'm in a relationship with. I think that's the best best you can do. Honestly, I wouldn't do it if I thought that there was any chance I would fall off. If, if I killed myself today, I would have been more surprised than anyone else. <laughs> maybe that sounds arrogant, maybe that sounds cocky. I know that, you know, shit can happen, shit, shit goes wrong. Um, but, uh, you know, I felt like I was fit enough and strong enough and, and aware enough. Like to be here. Yeah, I think it's a, a pretty interesting question where we all draw that line between risk and reward because it's different for everyone. We each have our own journey to take, and you know, that's mine. <laughs>